Welcome, it's math time. I'm Miss Alexis Gardner and I will be your teacher for today. For today's lesson, we will be looking at addition and subtraction facts to 20. When you add zero to a number, it doesn't change. The sum is still the same number. Here's an example. Three plus zero equals three. Don't you see that even though we added a zero, it still remained the same? Here are some more examples. When you take away zero from a number, it doesn't change. The difference is still the same number. Here's an example. Nine take away zero equals nine. As you can see, even though we subtracted zero, our difference was still nine. Here are some more examples. When you add one to a number, the sum is the next number in your counting sequence if you are counting forward. Let me show you an example. Nine plus one equals 10. 10 is the next number if you are counting forward. After nine comes 10. So when adding one, you move to the next number. Here are some more examples. When you subtract one from a number, the difference is the next number in your counting sequence if you are counting backwards. Here's an example. 14 take away one equals 13. 13 is the next number if you're counting backwards. Before 14 is 13. So when you take away one, you are actually taking one step backward. Here are some more examples. Some addition facts are doubles. This means that a number is added to itself. Here are some examples. Three plus three equals six. Four plus four equals eight. Five plus five equals 10. Doubles are great to know, especially when it's time for adding bigger numbers. Here are some more examples. When a number takes away itself, the difference is always zero. Here are some examples. Nine take away nine equals zero. Four take away four equals zero. Eleven take away eleven equals zero. Always remember that a number when taking away itself is left with zero. Here are some more examples. Addition and subtraction facts should always be memorized. They make mental math, problem solving, and basic computation easy. Here are some more addition and subtraction facts. Well, that's it for today. Be sure to review your addition and subtraction facts at least once every week. I promise you it will make you a better mathematician. Until next time.